Hello and welcome back to Tectonica. In our last episode, we started to make some automated uh, bio bricks. And that's being done here. We need to feed in a lot, 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 lot more, uh, whatever this stuff is called that I've forgotten the name of. Limestone. Uh, yeah, that's limestone, Molly. Uh, which we need to get by mining. So we're going to have to bore out some, uh, some area around that to get more miners in there and or uh, go to another limestone deposit, which there are some over there. Didn't I see there was a ability to move this map? No, it was just the zoom option that I did. Although there might be. Or over there, uh, we'd have to get into those, though. We haven't even gotten into this area yet at all, actually. Um, but I want to see how much we can get out of this first, just because it's here, local and close. And then we'll, we'll play the rest of it by ear later. Um, on camera, we were trying to fiddle with this... Uh, this... What are these called? Jeez, plant matter. Um, and I thought it wasn't working with the two in, two out method here, but it actually was. Um, uh, I just had turned this belt one block after the after the merger, and that doesn't work, at least not always. So I did a little test over here. I put some bio bricks on a uh, on a figure eight, and so we have a example two in, two out uh, build, and you can see that it's working as expected. Uh, the uh, the bio bricks are feeding into two spots and out two spots, and I don't think even that it matters uh, that way, this way, this way, that way, that way. Yeah, it doesn't even matter whether it's um that didn't do what I wanted either, did it? No, that didn't do what I wanted either. I don't think it matters either that the outs are next to each other and the ins are next to each other. Um, I guess I could pro oh, th those are, those are, never mind, that is what I wanted to do. Uh, so I don't think that matters either, so the, uh, or it doesn't appear to matter either. So the, the issue over here was just that I curved the, the output belt too soon, and sometimes the game doesn't like that. So we can easily clean this up, simplify it a little bit, or a lot of it. Uh, that one's fine to leave there. This one here, though, let's take this. No, I should have taken this one. More stuff in my inventory. Yay! Well, or did I want to take that one? Sort of. Uh, wait a minute. F. There we go. Take those two. I lied. And give me some belts here. Up and over like that. And then these can come this way to here. Turn and go right into there like that. And that should still work just fine. And it does. Just as, as expected, I just screwed it up when I did it earlier. Sorry about that. So now we have two in, two out, which is what I intend. Um, but we need to get that limestone going. So let's get that going, and then we're going to go back and work on the mall a little bit more, I think, this episode. So, uh, let's go. I should actually drill down a little bit more, maybe. See how deep, I wonder how deep this goes. And can you drill down, actually? I don't know that I've actually tried that. Right, this is a bit more than I than it was originally. And we drill down here. Give me that and that too. I don't know if, I don't know how to drill down, do I? Maybe I do. Ah, overheated, dang it. I wasn't paying attention. Pay attention to the heat. I'll get rid of that peak too there, that's weird. But yeah, we'll have plenty of room here for more uh, once we get things going. Let's level that off too. Pay attention to the heat meter this time, Wally. Thank you. Two. 3, 71, let's wait. Wait for it. There we are. It cools down a lot faster if you don't let it overheat, so that's uh, let that be a lesson to us. Mostly me. What is that? I don't know. Is it just an artifact, or is that actually something? Probably the latter. But I don't know what, so I'll go with the former. We might need to get around all sides of this. The miners only produce a certain amount. Uh, I think that was... Actually, I don't remember what that number was. The miners only produce a certain amount. So we need to make sure we... Um, make sure we're gathering enough from other sources. Um, we actually don't know, based on the information we have, I don't think, how much... Um, how much limestone comes out of a miner? I'm assuming it's the same as iron and copper, which is 45.04 per minute at the current upgrade level. Uh, but it could be more or less or the same amount. But 
I think we can just go all the way around this limestone deposit at least and get this this level leveled off. Whether we want to dig down and get more or dig up and get more, we can do that later. Yeah, there we are. Push this a little bit wider right here so we can figure out the miners. That'll be good for now. I will probably... I may level this off some more, but... That should be fine for now. Uh, let's extend our, our floor onto that area. Actually, stay down here. We'll start, of course, with the front. I probably didn't need to do those three. It's a little unnecessary, I think. Um, and then also probably... That, like... Yeah, it did actually build some in there, too. Interesting. So it is building inside of the nodes as well. No, just some of them. Okay. All right. And then we'll probably do something like that. And I think we can probably start back again over here. And you're still complaining about something there. That one, I guess, maybe? Probably doesn't matter. Okay, let's, uh, let's put down some miners and see what happens. Uh, we need to have... So at 45, we need to produce something crazy like um, 520 limestone. And so at 45, that's 12 miners. Luckily for us, we don't, we probably don't actually have to produce that much limestone. Uh, let's go right here. That should be good. To, uh, why you not rotate correctly? You should be auto-rotating there. I think we can do all three of those there. I think that's good enough for those, I think. And then, of course, we need to have a belt. And we're just going to start with a few, and then we'll keep adding to it as we go. These four are actually too much for one belt already. Maybe I should do six, then. Yeah, let's do six. That way we can have it be two belts as well. Plus, we have to have six miners. Uh, so that'll go right there. And then this one's going to have to go in. Well, it doesn't have to go in. But I'll make it go in. You're off to a good start with those mining drills, Thank Breaker. Thank you. Make this a little bit bigger here. So we have that, and then we're going to need to do some more of this. Excuse me. Go right to there. Just so that I have the floor, and I think I'm also going to come out this way a couple more as well. That'll be good, right there. I should just trim that off, too. Like that. Because it looks nice. Totally. Alright, belts. Uh, let's do number eight. So we'll have one limestone ore belt, or I guess ore, coming this way. Uh, nope, not there. It's got a break here. Turn. And then one coming this way. Uh, we'll come out like this, I think. Turn here, go that way. And then come out to here and turn and go this way. And then I think you both can just turn right here. Hold on. Hold on. Like that. Run those together. And then, of course, we have our uh, fuel, our bow brick belt here that we can connect up to for these. We're also going to have to run it over here once we finish this thing off, which is getting there, but we're not using that much iron. I may finish it off manually. Uh, that would be fine, too. And then we can do more belts here. And that'll be this way. I think I will go to here and then turn. This will go up and over that, all the way to the end of this one. We're going to need some long inserters as well. Oh yes, we will. Let's make some of those. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then maybe a couple more stacks of those. Five stacks of those. That is not five stacks, but a couple more five stacks. Yeah, that's the words. This can go actually... Well, you know what? I'm going to stop it there. Why? I don't know why it wouldn't let me go there. Oh, I ran out of belts. But I'll stop it there because I might end up turning it to go back further. So that way we're prepared for later. Uh, we do have a bunch of these, though. Let's see. I did this one, this one, this one, and that one. And you can go here, and you can go here. I, I did those backward. I did those backward. I could have also used this side one here. But that makes me a little nervous, um, so I didn't do it. 
Biobricks might be suffering a little bit. F8. And that's just because we're not giving them enough materials. Uh, that goes there. 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 There, there, and there. And that should give me the limestone. That's, of course, on two belts, which means we're going to run both the right now. Which means we're going to have to run both of those belts down here to feed into this uh, system. Um, actually, we'll need both belts long term, won't we? Yeah, we will. Yeah, we will. And actually, that's something we're going to figure out how to handle. I think we'll handle it by removing this, taking these out as well, temporarily, uh, from there and from there. Be careful with that, Wally. Take this out as well. There. Bleat some of this. Uh, that might not be good, but we'll see. And then we're going to take these down this way. Rotate that this way. And then this one will start there. I need more belts. I need to make more belts. Uh, this will go this way. That'll go this way. Belt. I don't make them. Am I making belts in the ball yet? I forgot. Did we start... Is that the one we set up? I think so. Oh, yes. We only have 500. Let's do a second stack, too. Uh, just for um, ridiculous numbers. Although that might get changed uh, once we're making Mark IIs. I think I want... No, this should stay because this is technically the bus. Uh, let's do this one here. You can go up, over, and turn to go that way. You can mix with that belt coming out of there. And then this one here can do the same, except it needs to go up and stay up. Or something. Uh, let's do that like this. Oh, I need to fix that one, too. That's fine. Uh, this can come in here. Turn. And that's going to just do stupid, because I like stupid, I guess. I don't know. That, please, I think. And then this one. Yeah. I could force it. And I may change my mind and force it, but for right now, I'm not going to force it. Uh, let's see. You. Come in, somebody's got to come out of here. Maybe even that one. And then we'll redo this. To right there. Not exactly what I wanted, but thank you. And you've got to go into that, which is actually a problem. The way that I have this set up here, but we can fix that, I think, too. Uh, no, just, just rotate. That one. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do either. Nor was that. Jeez. Um, eight. There. This goes there. This goes there, hopefully. Hopefully. Not running right now, but we'll see. There we go. Alright, that takes care of you. And you. And then we need to fix these. That's why that's not running. Duh. This can go back one, I guess. This way. Nice. 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 <laughs> Those are going to get merged eventually into one belt. But for right now, they're not. Uh, you two are good then? Sort of. Sort of. This should probably technically get split so that the middle belt is um, is getting some from both lines, but I'm not going to be that concerned about it yet because we're going to have to make changes eventually anyway. You are stopped because of this being backed up with Shiverthorn Extract because we have yet to deal with that. That's pending still. Uh, and you need stuff, so that's fine. Uh, we need to get fuel coming in here eventually. 
uh, pretty soon. Um, let's also get the fuel down. Hopefully we're making fuel again. Yeah, we are. Let's also get the fuel down here and fed into this system here. Uh, we did a little bit different setup with this over here with the copper. Um, and I think we could probably do something similar. Maybe. Uh, yeah, actually we can. We can do something really nice with this. Really nice. Uh, let's put in a few more floor blocks here, just for fun and or profit. Fill that space in. We hadn't filled in yet. And then we can do this like that. And this can go all the way to here and then go straight into that. We'll, of course, have to reverse that belt to there. But that's fine. Uh, and then we want to take out this stretch here as well as this stretch here. Actually, I just said it backwards. That was the iron over there. This is the copper. Um, just take those out. It's fine. And then we can take out these as well. And then this stretch here goes. And gets reversed. Like so. And then we also bring it in this way. Bump, bump, bump to there. And then you gotta come out here. And then I can remove this, this, and that. And I guess I should have a box that I feed this extra surplusy stuff into somewhere. Uh, that could probably just sit right here actually, and would be fine. Um, let's do that. I have two inserters even. I'll let you. I should keep a little bit on me, just in case. Um, oh, I gotta give you all that limestone, too. Yes, I do. But I will keep one stack and I will give you the rest. Let's do this. No, let's do it on this side. You. Actually, I should probably just do them all. You. 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 That'll help. It's also going to back these guys up for a little while. But only a little while. Uh, pew, pew. Yeah, these aren't producing any plant matter anymore because their other products are backed up. That's fine. Yeah, you need fuel, but you don't have any. We're working on it. It's coming. It's coming. So that should take care of that. Uh, we have... What did I have this box? See, that box is that. What did I have this box over here for? What was your purpose again? Oh! That was your purpose. I forgot about that. Uh, yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> Let's feed that in, too. In copious amounts. Get these going. Um, I'll keep a stack of that or so as well, uh, but we're fine with that. So now that we have some more limestone coming into the system, um, we should be in a better place with this. Uh, was there anywhere else we needed biofuel? I don't think so. I broke this one. I broke this one. What is this going? Oh, yes. That's why I broke it. I'm dumb. Uh, you can go right there, up and over, and then into this one where you come down and in. There you are. Now we have the plant matter coming out again. Okay. Uh, so I have to fix... Uh, I, have, I have more work to do with this spaghetti system over here. But I think it'll be okay. I may tweak that again because of the down and up and up and down stuff here. That I may be able to come up with a better way to do that. Like bring this one up to a to the join up in the air of over here or something. Uh, it has to be over by one more block, I think, but that could be fine. That might make this a little bit less messy, but then again, maybe not. But then again, maybe not. Wait, what am I doing this to store where I'm doing this to have? Yeah, don't do that, Wally. Um, I don't need that much stored up, so I think having one stack here uh, is fine. And then, how much do I have in my pocket? A whole stack? Yeah, that should be fine. I really need to get rid of some of this other stuff. 
before we go and do something else. Let's do all that again. That'll do. Although that was all my limestone. I don't want to give any more limestone away. Okay, that gave me a couple of spots here that are free, which is what I was looking for. And so I think what we want to do next is build some more uh, mall. We need to do some inserters. Let's take me all, all of those and you can build some more. We can use some of that metal that way. And we just want to extend this this way to do so. Like that. So inserters, uh, starting with the basics and then working our way to the other three, since they all take the basic ones as the inputs. I vaguely recall the stacks take the fast as an input, but I could be wrong on that. And I think what we'll do is have dedicated basic inserter makers for each of these rather than um, having one or one set make all of them. The thought being that, well, these take just two thirds of a second to make. These take one second, but you need three of those. These take 1.13 seconds, which is, I don't know, half again more or three quarters more or something more than, than the basic. Uh, but they take one, and these take a little more than twice as long as the basics. So between these two, uh, you could probably get, that would be 2.6. You could get, um... No, that's not right. That's not the right math, Wally. Uh, meet, meet that in the middle. You're looking at 1.3 seconds average between the two. So two of, two of these would make these be fine. But I'm not that worried about it. No, one of these would make both of these be fine. Yeah. Actually, then I am worried about it. I may just do that. I may have one for its own, one for these, and then one to share these. That could work. So we need mechanical components for these. Mechanical components take uh, iron and copper. I think that's the iron and copper one. That's the same, same thing the belts take. Uh, right? Yeah. So we'll do, the, we'll do the basic one first. It'll literally be a copy of this. Um... So let's do that. Assemblers, uh, button zero. And actually, I'm going to mirror it so I can be lazy and use this one belt for both. That'll actually be good. And then we can do, I had that there, yeah. Here. And then, of course, a box. We're going to make some more boxes. No problem, we can make more boxes. Did I push that all the way over here? Yes, I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. Mechanical components here. Also make more boxes. And uh, yellow inserters there. We'll bring an iron belt in to this. That was right. So come on down and go a little past. Iron belt goes in here to that point. And then red inserters just because I'm too lazy to figure out how much we actually need. There, 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 and there. Uh, I don't know how high these stack either. Maybe I should have kept a little bit more limestone too. We'll start with one stack. Oops. Start with one stack and go from there. If we decide we want more stacks, we can add more stacks. Guess I can always go get some more limestone. Okay, there we go. Uh, you should hopefully be working now. You are. Good. And you're making two, of course, because they, uh, they help it too. Um, so then, uh, let's skip the long short rate for this moment, I think, because they need more mechanical components. Hmm. Now let's do the longs first, I think. Uh, you need three mechanical components every second, and you need seven mechanical components every two-thirds of a second. So we need... Uh, about 10 per second there, then. Plus three more, that's 13. And mechanical components make... four. 
per recipe, and that recipe craft time is... Because remember, it's twice this. Uh, that recipe craft time is two seconds. So you make four every two seconds. Hmm, I think we'll do two separate machines then for that. Hmm. Well, let's start with the box, because I'll put it here. They'll be kind of facing each other. Maybe. Um, I think we'll do... We could do, like... This. And then, like this, somehow. To feed... To make those. And then we can do... One back here. Will this fit? Damn near. What if we did... Or what if I added one more space? And just did long insert. Yeah, let's do that. And then do... This. And then move these over by one more to the other side. Oops. Pressing the wrong buttons again. You can be over here then. Wait, you'll be actually right there. That's fine. There and there. Uh, so we have mechanical components here and here. We have blues here. And we have yellows here. And that'll be fine. Uh, the ratio is not that important. TM. Uh, let's do belt. Come on down this way. And then go this way. To there. Stop because we need to cross those over. And then the copper can come down to this point, which means I need more floor pieces. Whoa. Here. Actually, I need to bring the iron down a little bit further so that I can do the, um, the bump. That'll come down to there. Long, long, or uh, fast, fast. Fast, fast. I need some long inserters to get made here. Although that might not work out the best. Because we need to transfer, well, we need to transfer three there per second, but it's ten per second here. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What if I did something crazy? What if? What if I did this? That. Wait a minute. No, this is one that only needs three. Um... Per second. Three per second is... Well, a fast inserter wouldn't hurt here, actually. Let's see if we can do crazy. Let's try crazy. Uh, you can go here. Up and over. Into there somewhere. Uh, that gets put away. Oops, I screwed that up. Oh, I screwed that big time. There. And it's something like that. Uh, maybe. Maybe. This can go here. Which means I could have shifted all this over instead. It doesn't matter. I'll move that then too. Um, this one actually needs to get moved as well. So they don't want to do it that way. Maybe I should have done that differently then. Let's do this. Put these right next to each other. Like that. Bring... Not that either. Uh, bring these in here. And then do... This. Turn. Turn. Stop. And this one. <laughs> uh, yellow. And uh, blue. You need one of these. And then we need a box. New box, right there.
Does that work? You need all those mechanical parts, yeah. That's fine. Point is... It appears there. Definitely only gonna want one stack of these, I think. We don't use them that much. Reds is the one I'm gonna want more of, more than I think than anything else. That's a little insane, but I like it. I like a little insane sometimes. It kind of keeps the blood blood flowing, you know. Okay. And then uh, another one here uh, for the uh, red and purple. These just need electrical components. These need processor units and Kindlevine extract. Kindlevine extract we were going to have to bust down here. The processor units, though, that's these. Well, electrical components are iron and copper wire. These need those plant matter frames. Plant matter frames also need plant matter fiber. You need three plant matter frames every four seconds. You make one plant matter frame every two seconds, so it's a little bit slower, but that's fine. And then this makes three electrical components every... But it's double. It's double. I keep forgetting it's double. So this is going to produce two plant matter frames every two seconds, which is a little bit faster. This is going to produce six electrical components every 1.67, which is uh, two and a half of those, uh, or two and a half times, two and a half times quicker than that, than that. So that means we'll get six times two and a half every four seconds, which is plenty. Um, those inserters need five of those every 1.13 and one of those every 1.4 this would be one every two seconds then two every, two every four seconds one every two, every two seconds we need five a little bit faster than that we're gonna make six that's close enough Okay, so we'll end up having two of these machines one to feed that one to feed directly to the inserters one of these uh, two inserter machines and uh, one of the regular inserter machines and one of the mechanical component machines to support the regular inserter machine. Ouch. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven assemblers. I only have six. Here. But we also need to bust down two things. Uh, one is the plant fiber. The other is the... Um, Kindle vine extract. Uh, this plant fiber can get pulled this way. If I need to, I can split it earlier somehow and feed it separately, but I think we're just going to do it like this for right now. That's going to come across here to this belt that I had intended for it. Oh. And then that. And then we have another belt right here that'll be for the uh, other stuff. And that's going to come off of these belts here in some manner. Um, in some manner. I want... But once I have them all in one belt, it'll be fine. But for now, I will do it this way. I kind of didn't give myself enough room here for bus access. Although, technically... Technically, I could use every belt line. I don't have to leave the space. So we could take, say, from here and feed this through. That's not the best place, though, because of reasons. Um, Q. Why don't we just do it here, then? Uh, because, yeah. This will come this way. Uh, out to turn, turn, and then come down this way. As long as that doesn't get botched with that right there. Which I don't think it will, because it's not connected to it. These are a little bit smarter. Uh, which is kind of nice. 
that I screwed that up? This one should come through first, I think. Pfft. Wait a minute. No, this one turns here. Never mind. This one turns here. These go right there again. Nope. This can be removed from here and fixed. Uh, maybe I can do it this way. Backwards. There we go. And those two will go that way to support those, those new things. And whatever else that needs those input items. Uh, that way. And this way. Down here somewhere. Come on down. Okay. So, this needs uh, a lot of things. Yeah. Ouch. Um, hmm. We need a machine making the electrical components that feeds the processors. We need a machine making the electrical components that feeds the um, other things. Wait, what do the electrical components take again? I've forgotten. Copper wire. Oh, we need two more machines. And iron ingots. Forgot about copper wire. Okay, two more two more assemblers. Uh, let's, let's start with the inserters. Actually, the output inserters. So we want to have... And I may move this around a little bit. But we want to have you... Outputting inserters. I think they're um, based on. Let's get those, some of those made too. Um, you got two inputs, you got three inputs. Yeah, I think I want these here and then the boxes here, possibly here and here. If this is red, it'll have its Kindle Vine coming in directly, plus the processor units and the inserters. Uh, I want to do the inserters back here, I think. So maybe something like this and like this. Those have their own input of the whatever they are, the mechanical components. Uh, the processors will go here then. Um, maybe like this. Tentatively like this. Because I need to get the Kindle Vine in here, and I don't really want to connect it to the front. Although I could. Although I could. So then we could do that for the processors, that for the um, electrical components, or the plant matter frames. Oh, yeah, I want to do it the other way, then. Because we need to have two inputs for this. So that, this, and then back here somehow like that. Um, if this was the plant matter frames, then that needs the plant matter fiber directly input. This would need... Um, the electrical components, which just needs iron and copper wire. That's going to have copper wire being fed into it, which we'll get to in a moment, I hope. Uh, these guys are just iron and copper because they're just mechanical components. Yeah. So you're going to need an iron... What if... I need more machines. I didn't make enough machines. I think I want you to be sideways, but then I can't fit this in here, but we're going to move it all anyway, so it won't matter much. But if I could put this one in sideways, that might help. Might help. No, it's already not going to fit right. I just may have to space this out a little bit more. Yeah, so if I did sideways and then I could do the wire back here, Per, uh, say. And then over here we do kind of something similar. We don't have as much input for these uh, for the uh, 
for these, they just need the electrical components. So that'll be electrical components and wire. Uh, and then I think that'll be fine. So I need to make up a bunch of spaces here. Um, a bunch of spaces. A belt for... Actually, the belt for iron could come through the middle. Maybe I only need to make up one, two, three spaces. I think. Belt for the plant matter fiber. A space for the inserter. And then the machine would start here. And that machine would be... The one making the, um... Why? Weird. It would be these ones. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if I can get this right. There. And then this is... Processor units. That's going to have to be this way. I think. Because we need to be able to feed in... The, um... Electrical components. And their wire. And I want to run the copper up and around the back from this belt here. So then we have, um... Frames, wire, electrical components. Set this so I don't forget it. Because I'm going to forget it. Frames, wire, electrical components. Those both feed into here, which is processors. Bingo. And then that gets fed into an assembler making the inserters. The uh, red inserters. Along with the Kindle Vine extract, which could come across the front here now, as well as the inserters, the yellow inserters themselves, which I didn't do correctly. Uh, that means perhaps that this gets shifted over. Hmm. -hmm. Or a little bit more foundation here. Oh, I gotta scan that one. Okay. There we go. Or these can get put in like this. Uh, that being the uh, electrical components. Still weird. It's not letting me target it properly. Uh, for there. And then we can have these here. Inserters and inserter mechanical components. I think that's better. I'll have to wend the um, the iron through here up above to get back to this this stuff. This one? Yeah, this one here. Um, but that would be fine. Uh, the alternative would be to bring it in from this side above as well and feed it around behind uh, because it's not needed in the middle here anywhere. It's only needed on this one. So that would be, actually be okay. We'll do that instead. If we can. Okay, uh, move that box then now to... And I actually have the boxes sticking out by one, which is on purpose, so let's do that there still. And then we'll have to do another mirror-ish of this uh, here or so. Uh, probably not quite there, uh, because we need to have inserters here at the, near, at the closest. 
and then their support there. Uh, and then we'll have you, actually that might be fine, there making those uh, purples. And they need the electrical components, but just the electrical components. I need two more assemblers. Let that run out again. Oops. One here, uh, making the electrical com electrical components, and then we need their copper wire back here, and that'll be fine as well. Once we have that other, there it is. Okay, Whew. let's see what we can do here. Uh, we need belts, so we'll have the plant matter fiber coming in here. That's going to go to this one, I think. We decided. Yes. Also, that one's that one's good. That's some um, electrical components. Wait. You need wire. Did I not give you a wire maker? I don't know that I did. You. You. You need wire. You're the insert. Yeah, we didn't give you a wire maker back here. I need one more assembler. Jeez. Uh, that, that's that. Uh, and then we'll have iron coming in here. Going up and over the inserters that are needed for this machine. There. And then coming around to this one. here, which also needs to input the wire for this fudge. That's not even where I wanted it, but we might have to do that. How much wire do you need? Three uh, wire every... One point six six seven. That's a little less than two per second. Yeah, that's slow for a blue. Hmm. What can I do? What can I do? I could potentially do this. No, I can't do that either. Could potentially do... Oh, I could do it like this. This is crazy idea time. But we could do it like this. And then we could run the iron belt around and into here. I think that'll work out fine. Uh, your copper wire, then. You're feeding into that one. Um, you are mechanical components... You are yellow inserters. Same. Same. Now, yes, this would have been easier if I had made some of these components in their own little areas and then bust them down, but that gets a little bit insane. Um, for lack of a better word, that gets a little bit insane. And the reason it gets a little bit insane is because you need a lot of these products sometimes and then you have a bus that's many, many, many belts wide. So, that's not always the best option. Uh, plant fiber is going in here and then stopping. Let's put that inserter in so that I can go over it with this iron belt. Here. Over. Uh, although, I'm going to want to turn this here. And do the copper belt. And it's inserted first. That'll come this way. That'll come across here. I think it's got to go onward yet. Uh, we'll have to put that inserter here then. And then this one can go up and over like that. Perfect. That'll be iron. 
And that'll get inserted into here. This will go here. You're good now, but you got to come out. You'll be good now, I think. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, okay. But that's got to go into here. So does this. I suppose we can probably hook up some of these. Uh, iron, for example. We can go a little bit further, and then we can split it there. Plant fiber needs to go a little bit further as well, so we'll push copper a little bit further, and then we'll do plant fiber up and over like that. Excellent. Kindle vine's got to go in there. I think that gets these up and running. You need your stuff yet. You need iron. You haven't got the iron yet. Yeah, of course not, because it hasn't made it that far. This is going to need both iron and copper, so we'll do something with that. So is that. And so is that going to need copper, and so is that going to need iron. Are you getting your stuff you need? Yes, you're getting stuff. You're not quite there on the plant matter frames, but that's fine. These go in here. We gotta turn this on yet, but I'll go ahead and connect it up there, there, and then there'll be two inputters, two inputs here, somehow. Um, I could almost do that, but not quite. So do something different. Actually, I could, what I can do is just do this. Uh, belt here. I think that'll work. Looks like it. Uh, then you can come in, turn this way, and do this for a little while at least. We'll do that one and this one. Let's take care of those coppers. And then iron can go from here, up and over, and back down again. Um, except that I think I want to have one more safety belt there, like that. Come down. Duck under. Oh, yeah. And we'll do that too, just while we're here. Let's also get this one fed. We'll feed it on this side. Like that. There you go. And that means you'll get those, and then you just need Kindle Vine. Okay, we can move the bus forward now. Let's go to the halfway point there for lack of any other consideration. Notice I did not hook up the um, output belt. Actually, I don't know how much more this is going to be needed, but I did not put, hook up the output inserter here to the uh, to the box on purpose. Do we get everything else settled? I don't want to. Oops, I missed the last belt there. This goes in there, and that should take care of those. So that should take care of the reds, I hope. And then we've got yellows here ready to go. Yes, we do. Uh, so we just need to take care of this iron. Which I think I'm actually going to stop here. And I think I'm even going to bring in separate copper here, just so we're not snaking this thing around all the way around. Maybe. Copper f goes here, iron goes there. So we'll bring iron in first. Iron, come on down. Come on down past. And then you can come in right here there and then copper can come down here and we can either go over top of the iron or we could go alongside it and come in we go over top yeah we can uh i, I like the over the top method i think that's that's fun a little bit uh crazy or whatever but i think that'll work there and then this can go here and then you need to feed in this way i believe Now, if everything is correct, we should have both kinds of inserters coming out. Those are ready. Uh, I guess we can fill up this. Uh, I think we'll just start one, one, one stack again. Because, again, I don't know how much these stack to. 
So we'll have to see. Need a couple more reds made. Just do the two. That's all we need. There, please. And there, please. And you should be outputting purples. There we go. And you have reds already in the box. Excellent. All right. Well, that takes care of inserter array. For now, we'll have to do another block of it once we have stack inserters. Which I think are green. Oh, I'm out of limestone. Oh, no, I'm not. I picked up a half stack. Not the whole stack. Oh, I picked up a half stack last time, too, and then didn't restack it. Look at that. Excellent. Sort. There we go. So I think that takes care of those. Um, if I missed something, by all means, let me know. But that takes care of belts, inserters. We could do some more accumulators. We probably should do some more accumulators. Oh, yeah, we need Kindle Line Extract for those, too. So we'll set those up next. Um, and then um, they'll need their own electrical components, of course. Copper frames as well. I think we're going to skip boxes. Could make them, but eh, meh. And uh, we said no to the rest of this. Um, these will get used, get made when they need to be made. The, the parts, that is. And we said no to those. So that'll be, I think, the last thing we do right now as far as them all. Yes, we could set up some of these. Yes, we would get double the output from them if we did. Um, I may change my mind and do it later. But for right now, I'm not going to do it. And so then I think we can move on to the blue cores after that. Uh, we'll, of course, need for the blue cores the cooling systems. Um, but that will come that'll come later um so i th yeah i think we're going to leave this here for now uh, we're making our inserters we should have some nice output of those soon uh we have 104 blues yeah it's gonna be a lot 188 yellows and so on and so forth it looks like these guys finished up that's good tm um we could probably feed some more of this in Just to get it out of my bags. I don't want a bunch of it in my bags. Um, and then we can uh, we can work on blue cores, get some of that research going, and see where that takes us. I don't know how wide the bus needs to be yet, uh, but we could probably just come a little bit wider over here somewhere and feed in some more. Um, you know, just have room for a couple more belts. I don't know what else I'm going to want to bus. I I know I need to bus these either these or the coolants um i don't know if these are used for anything i don't think they're used for anything directly at least nothing i'm going to automate directly so we could do either the cooling systems uh, or the coolant tanks i think there's a reason to do these but i can't remember uh let me know if you know of something i'll also look on tectonica dash calculator.com to see what else they might be used for but i think at least for now we're in a pretty good spot and we will, um, you know, get this figured out soon, hopefully. I'm probably going to pick up some more limestone just so I have some in my inventory. Like, just say, hey, miner, give me some. Uh, actually, you know what? Hey, miner, give me some. And then I'm going to drop a bunch of this here into there and have just one stack. I think that's better. All right, so we're going to leave this here. And in the next one, we will do some uh, our, our final bit of mall work with... Uh, with, uh, whatchamacallit here, the, the accumulators. Um, at least for now, like I said, we might do some more of this. And then we're going to work on the blue cores. And then we'll be able to do some more research. So thank you all for joining me. And I will see you all next time. Bye for now.